Hi, my name is George Coulomzine, and I want to show you a wonderful new app that gardeners and landscapers will find truly useful. With this app called Sasha, for sun analyst, shade analyst, you can scan your surroundings and determine the amount of direct sunlight versus shade that will strike your location. Let me give you an example. Can I am standing uh, in a location where sometimes the sun is behind those trees and sometimes it is not. Whether the sun strikes this here spot depends on the time of day. Sun rises behind those trees in the east and sets behind those trees in the west and during the day may or may not be behind these trees here. Also, the direct the amount of direct sunlight in this spot depends on the time of year. In late June, the sun is very high. In October, it's much lower. So you have to know, if you're computing the average sunlight here, you have to know all that information. Knowing if you are in direct sunlight or shade at a given time on a given day is nice, but it's not enough. What you really want is the total. How many hours of sun do you get on a given day? Furthermore, you want the average of this total over a period of days and weeks. In other words, the plant's growing season. A sun-loving plant wants an average of six or more hours during its growing season, and a shade-loving plant may want less than two hours. It depends on the plant. Sasha, having given you this information, allows you to select the right plant for the right location. Let me show you how to do this. First, calibrate your compass by waving it in a figure eight in several different directions. Now, this allows the compass to find the Earth's magnetic field and separate it from any magnetic noise in the device. It's, there's a good technical reason for it, even though it sounds like black magic. When you start the app, it takes a moment to determine its location using GPS. That may be a few seconds or you know, 20 seconds. Just let it find itself. Once the location is determined, point the camera towards where the sun might be, and you will see two red lines with a gray grid between them. The top red line indicates the highest path that the sun might take during your date interval. The bottom line is the lowest path the sun might take. Uh, on the edges, there are lines at the horizon. The gray cells, that I call them tiles, fill the region and will help you later on uh, to know when you've captured all the data in the region. Pointing the camera at the region between the red lines, touch the screen anywhere to take a photograph. You will see a lot of the tiles fill in with gray. This is what we call a capture. We've captured the tiles. Your goal is to capture all the tiles between the red lines. You see, the path of the sun is bigger than any one exposure could capture. You have to scan it. And by having these tiles turn gray, you know what you have already captured and what you have missed. So your goal is to scan the entire region between the red lines until all the tiles have turned gray. There's even a little counter in the lower right hand side of the screen that'll show you that you've captured 17 out of 28 or something like that. You have to capture them. The moment you've captured them all, the camera announces that you, the capture is complete and uh, starts the computation. The computation is fairly quick, takes maybe 10, 20, 30 seconds, depending on various factors. Uh, and when it's done, it'll show you this location has 4.4 hours of sunlight on average between in my case here, May 5th and October 10th.
that's the growing season here. Um, in your location, it'll be different, the growing season. And where you're standing, it has more or less sun, you'll get a different answer. But the point is, you now know this location has this many hours of sun. You can now go to your gardening store and pick an appropriate plant and not waste 25, 50, $100 on a plant that will not thrive here. Uh, that's basically it. It's that simple. Um, there are two more things which you can do um, that are already more advanced. Uh, one is you can change this uh, growing season, this date interval. If you go to the options buttons and select them, you will see um, uh, something that says set, set custom date range and it'll allow you to set any range you want from two days to a whole year. Uh, the second thing is that when you, very often you want to plant something, especially herbaceous plants, while they're dormant during the winter. And at that time, there are no leaves. Ah, Sasha has an answer for that. There is, uh, in that same menu, there is a uh, entry that says simulate foliage you press that button and Sasha will estimate how, what part of your scene will have, uh, how, how much foliage it'll have. It'll, it'll estimate it. Now, estimating is not as good as taking an actual picture, but it's better than nothing. So that's it. Sasha is a wonderful app. It'll save you tons of money in terms of, of plants that uh, you've planted in unsuitable locations. Uh, and it's cheap. Uh, go to the um, Google Play Store and you'll see the URL at the end of the uh, presentation and get yourself a copy. It's wonderful. Thank you very much.